Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the 2021 <laughs> pond season. Uh, it is, it's warming up finally here in May a little bit. Um, here in Michigan, we're still pretty cool, but I've got growth on the pond and this is the year, <laughs> this is the year that I hope to conquer uh, some of our pond issues. I uh, take you back, uh, for those who do not know, uh, about eight, nine years ago here in Michigan, we had a real big drought and my wet hole here, um, which was always a wet hole, dried completely up. So I had the opportunity to come along and to dig this out. And so what I have here is about a quarter acre pond uh, with a hole about 13 to 14 feet deep. And it was beautiful and it filled up very nicely and lily pads and cattails and I thought it was just lovely and fish came in and just lovely. And what happened is muck, muck, muck. It, muck has grown up. I did not maintain this pond. Muskrats came in, worked the edges. And so uh, I am in the process of reclaiming this. Uh, my five children very much want to play in this pond. And so this is the continued battle of how I am going about making this pond uh, more pleasant to look at, uh, more usable for us, and just all around a feature that is fun to use. So this is my 2021 game plan. Uh, the aerator has been going since about July of last year. We shut it down for about six weeks during winter. We went through a real cold snap, uh, you know, zero degrees. So I unplugged it, shut it down for a while, fired it back up. Uh, beginning of, uh, well, I fired it back up about mid-February and it has been running ever since. Uh, aerator gives a lot of movement, but it, it's not taking care of all of it. So this is my game plan. Um, I have been working the edges and you can see along here eh. so this is my game plan for 2021. Uh, temperatures are still 57, 58 degrees. Uh, please don't tell the misses that I used her cooking thermometer to measure the pond. Uh, you can see that along the edges I have piles that uh, I've been kind of collecting prior to using a herbicide this year on the pond. Uh, a uh, uh, individual reached out to me, Nathan reached out to me and everybody had their ideas on how to fix the pond and Nathan actually emailed me some before and after pictures and he uses a product called Flumigard and so I have Flumigard now um, I have a surfactant that will go with that and I will be using that on the pond this year and so I'm hoping to get some nice before and after video when that time comes but we're still too cold to use the Flumigard uh, so while I'm waiting, I am just working the edges of the pond. And so what I use is I use an old style scythe alongside the edges and some of the shallow areas with grasses and lily pads. And then I come along with my rake and then I use a weed razor and I toss that out and uh, cut the lily pads. Once again, I use my rake. I just zip tied a noodle onto it and I pull in as many lily pads as I can. And the idea is that all of this will sink to the bottom of that pond once that herbicide hits it. So I'm collecting this now to compost it, to get those nutrients out of the pond. Uh, the weed razor also does a good job of cutting some of those lower weeds. Um, meanwhile, I will pretty shortly here after I hit it with the herbicide, um, I will put a pond dye in this year. Uh, along with that, the pond has some uh, muck tablets going in, some of those uh, uh, muck remover type bacterial uh, tablets. And so 
that is my pond plan for 2021. Um, I'm guessing that it will probably be towards the end of May before I could put the uh, the Flumigard on. Um, and then I'm just going to guess here that I'm going to have to do a second application in the fall, um, later summer. And so that's what I'm doing. Uh, that's my game plan and I'm going to stick to it. I am blown away by how many people love ponds. Um, and I grew up on a small lake and I would say that I really enjoy the pond and having that right in my front yard. So I'm going to take care of it and this is how I'm going to do it this year. And so thank you very much for your comments and suggestions. Um, and if this doesn't work, then it will be an excellent example. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be an excellent example whether it's good or bad. So uh, thanks a lot for joining me now. Bye now.